Good morning. I'm going to talk about the unconditional love of God that shapes our life. And then we're able to love others unconditionally because of first being loved by God. I'm going to read from uh, John 13, 34, and 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So the catalyst is God's love for us. He first loves us, and then that gives us the ability to love others unconditionally, because God's love is unconditional, and the only thing that's close to the unconditional love that we, that we have in us is the way that we feel about our own children. And um, in that, um, you know, we're in a very conditional place, and I think that a lot of religion is also the focus is you need to behave in order to receive the love and affection of God and others. Um, but the reality of God's love is so different that God so loved the world that he gave. It, it comes from, it's not, God demonstrates his love for us that while we were still sinners, right? Like, see, it's not us doing something good in order to receive. He's the catalyst of the love. And that love is supposed to shape our lives. See, as we submit our lives back to the love of God, it sets us free of that bondage of self, and then we're able, wherever we go, to become that fragrance of God's love, right? So it's God's love that shapes us. We're no longer trying to receive that love, and a lot of times in religion, that's what is put on us, saying, no, you need to do in order to receive, right? You have to achieve to receive instead of no, it's God's love coming our way and shaping our lives, setting us free from the bondage of self, and then we're able to become love. That's what it's all about. We're supposed to be being transformed more into the image of God, and God is love. Those who do not love do not know God, for God is love, right? So that's what, this, that's what the, the Christian life is about. It's about our lives being transformed into the image of of God. We become more and more like him as we submit our lives to him and then he he shapes us. He he forms us, but it's his love coming to us that sets us free to be able to love like he does. It's beautiful. It's freeing. Now all of a sudden you're not in that bondage to self trying to trying to justify and glorify your life, trying to lift yourself up in all situations. You're able to go into any environment and just love because you know you are. You are a child of God. He loves you and desires the best for you. And when you are apart from him, we come into the world apart from God, and we're searching for that love and acceptance down all these different paths and avenues. And yet at any time we can come back to that love and, and submit to him and reconnect to the love of God. And that's the thing that shapes our life. We don't have to do to be, right? The beatitudes are, at, that's attributes of our being. That comes out of our life. We don't have to do those things. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in spirit for they shall see God. You know, it's beautiful. So allow God's love to shape you, not religion, but the love of God, seek him, uh, you know, allow him to seek the love of God, search him out. And how do we know that? By the word of God. So we search out through the word of God to find out the beauty of who he is. And that unconditional love of God shapes our life, transforms us, sets us free from the bondage of self. And then we're able to truly love. See, I, I never could before. I was in that posture of I'm searching for love and acceptance, and I would tell people that I love them unconditionally, but really the love that I had was for me, you know, and that's where we are. When we say we love you, really we're saying, I need you to love me back. You're not free to be able to love because you haven't been shaped by the love of God, the source of all love. Anyway, God bless you today. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you experience his love and then be able to love. God bless.